Hello friends. So in today's session, I'm going to explain you how to connect uh, any Linux system with uh, Visual Studio Code. So this session will be very helpful uh, when we are going to write a big program and a script in a Visual Studio Code and that script and program you want to execute on the Linux system. So basically, uh, we can do like uh, we can write a code here and then we can copy this script in the my our linux system and then we can execute that way we can also do but that is a little lengthy process so what i want to do i want to write that program directly on the my linux system through visual studio code and directly want to execute also in a linux system so how it possible so that i'm going to explain you step by step here so with visual studio code you know it's a very useful tool here you can write any kind of program, uh, Python, Java, say anything, because it's more advanced uh, tool. So what you have to do, first you have to go to your Linux system and in your Linux system, you have to do the three steps. So first steps, what you have to do, you have to <coughs> open the etc, etc, ssh and ssh bconf file. Once you open this file, then you search with uh, this option, allow uh, agent forwarding, okay? Allow agent forwarding. So you can see it's a commented, what I have to do, uncomment. And one second, more, one more option, what you have to do, this also, you have to uncomment. Allow TCP forwarding, okay? This option you have to also uncomment. And in your system, suppose if you already uncommented, you just make sure you can check if the put yes or yes here or not. If no, then you just convert to yes and then save and exit. Once you've done this one, then you restart the service. System, system, CTL, restart SSHD. So in my system, yeah, this is eight. If your uh, old uh, village version RHL, then you can use the service command. Service uh, 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 command you can use. So I restarted the uh, now service. Now you can. I will check the status also. It's running or not? Sorry. Sorry. Need to check the status. So it's running. So two steps done. I change the file configuration file. Second, I restart the service. Now, first step, what you have to do, uh, so you have to go to your user home directory and then <coughs> check here if any Visual Studio directory is there, dot Visual Studio hyphen service, then you remove it. So that will come if your system is already connected with Visual Studio due to some, some reason you're not able to connect, then you just remove that file, okay? So in my system, you can see it's not there, okay? <coughs> Suppose if you, in your system is there, you just remove that directly with dot visual studio, like with dot visual studio hyphen server, that directly you remove. So now I done all the steps here, okay? Now let me take the IP from the, my system. So this is my IP, my Linux system IP. Now let me go to the visual studio tool. So this is a visual studio tool. Here you, what you have to do, you have to click on the extension. You can just see this box to so click on this here and then you type SSH here. Once you type SSH, you can see this remote SSH will come. Just click on here and then click on the install. So now you can see it's installing. So installation is done. So once your installation is done, successful, you can see this box will appear in your Visual Studio. Remote Explorer. Just click on here. Once you click on here, SSH option. You can see here, SSH option is highlighted. Now you can see here one symbol, plus symbol is coming. It means it's indicating you need to add the, your new remote server here. So click on here. And then you can type here SSH root at the rate. So in my case, i have given the root here. But in your case, suppose if you want to Logging with any particular user, you can just give that username at the rate and then IP. Okay, so now I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm selecting the 
my configuration file. So in, through this, this configuration file will create on your Windows system where is your Visual Studio installed. So we can connect, uh, you know, passwordless authentication. We can connect our Linux system with like passwordless authentication also. That I will explain in the next video. So this is a basic level, like how to connect Linux system. I'm going to show you. So what you have to do is you have to just click on the your user home directory, which one you are pairing, and then dot ssh and then configuration file. Once you click, then click on the connect here. You can check the configuration file also, but I'm not going to check that configuration file there. Now here is asking, do you want to con like continue? Yes, I want to continue. Click on the continue. So now here is asking the password. Okay, so I'm going to give here password. Suppose if you in your si if so, this system I already one time I connected. I just want to show you. That's why it will ask one more option in your system. It like which kind of your uh, system you connect Linux, uh, Windows, or Mac OS. Suppose your system is Linux, you just click on the Linux. Okay, then click here. <coughs> so I have given the password also. So now you can see it's going to set up SSH here. So now I'm going to on my Linux system here. Now let me ls minus ls. So now you can see. See this directory, it was not showing earlier. Now it's showing. See here, it's showing. It means it's downloading the packages, Visual Studio packages here. Some source code will be downloaded here. Okay, so you can see here. So now if, if I come here, again my Visual, uh, Visual Studio code. So now it's a connected. How I understood it connected? You just click on the, again the remote explorer. And now you can see this IP I give, right? It's a connected, it's showing connected. You can see. So what you have to do, you just want, if I want to open the terminal, let me open the terminal. So you can see this terminal is open. Now let me see PWD. So I'm inside the root directory, right? So let me go to the, my Linux system again. CD, sorry, CD slash root. Okay. Now I want to create here VI test dot P1. This file I'm going to create. Now let me add here print 111. Okay, let me save here. Now let me come to the my <coughs> Visual Studio. Sorry. So now you can see test.py is coming, right? Now let me open this file in a Visual Studio. Open a file. So root test.py. Just let me see. So now I open this file also, right? Now I write this here, right? Now let me it's asking the document that right? you want to install. If you want to you want to install, you just click yes. Uh, if you want to ignore, you can ignore it also. That's okay. Now let me go to the here again. Now I want to run this this uh, script. So what I have to do, USR bin python 3 test.py so you can see it's a printing 111 here now for example here let me go to the in this system i'm giving it like this so you can see here no indication any error right correct let me save this file now you can see here it's coming in a red because I edited that one. Same thing, you can see it's a coming in a red. It means there is some syntax error, right? So <clears throat> what I have to do because I have to close this one here. So once I close this one, now if I run here again, now let me save. See, one one one. So in this way, now I'm directly writing in the, that the code here in Visual Studio. You can see here, and directly I'm running on the Linux system. So now I'm not copying and then I'm executing there, right? So in a, this way you can do. I will explain more and with how to uh, connect our Linux uh, with, without asking the password, all those things. Uh, later I will explain. So in the next video. So I hope uh, you like these videos. So please subscribe my channel and like it.
like and share and comment thank you